In this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss the integumentary system. Uh, the word integumentary or the word uh, integument uh, meaning uh, to cover, something covering. The skin. The skin is the largest organ in the body as it represents about 16% of the total body weight. It's formed of two layers. The superficial layer is the epidermis, which is stratified squamous gratinized epithelium, and uh, the deeper layer is the dermis. Uh, beneath uh, the dermis, or oh, the dermis rests on a subcutaneous tissue, subcutaneous adipose connective tissue, which is called hypodermis. This here is the hypodermis. Uh, hypodermis is not considered as a part of the skin. It is not a part of the skin. It is help to attach the, the, the skin or the layers of the skin to the underlying tissue. So we have here the epidermis, stratified squamous epithelium, keratinized, and here we have uh, the dermis, which is connective tissue and divided into two parts. And here is the hypodermis, which is adipose connective tissue, and it is not considered uh, as a part of the skin. First, we are going to discuss the epidermis. As I said, the epidermis is formed of stratified squamous epithelium, keratinized. This is the epidermis, formed of stratified squamous epithelium, keratinized. Uh, it is formed of two types of cell, or two categories of cell. First is the keratinocyte, and second is the non-keratinocyte. Non-keratinocyte is formed of melanocyte. This is the melanocyte. And Langerhans cell, this is the Langerhans cell, and uh, the Merkel cell. This is the Merkel cell. As you see here, the keratinocyte arranged in multiple layers. This is the layer of the epidermis. The first layer, which is resting on the basement membrane, it is called the stratum basal. The second layer is polygonal layer called uh, stratum. Uh, spinosa, stratum spinosa. Then the cells start to be flattened here and uh, contain granules. This is stratum granulosa. Then a translucent layer called stratum lucidum. And the last layer, or the, the fifth layer, is stratum corneum. As I said, keratinocytes are arranged in five layers of the epidermis. Now I'm, I'm talking about the epidermis layer of the skin. And as I said, it's formed of keratinocyte, which is arranged in five layers. The basal layer, which is resting on the basement membrane, single layer of columnar cell called stratum basal or the basal layer. Then multiple polygonal cells called the stratum spinosum. After that, the cells start to be flattened uh, and contain granules, so-called stratum granulosum or the granular cell layer. Then a few layer of uh, cells, trans uh, layer, uh, translucent refractile acidophilic layer called the stratum lucidum. And lastly, or the fifth uh, layer is the stratum corneum or the horny uh, cell layer. The first layer of the epidermis is a stratum basal or basal cell layer. This layer is a single layer and resting on the basement membrane. The cell here appear columnar in shape, single row of columnar cell with basal oval nucleus, and the cytoplasm appear basophilic. Why it is basophilic? As it is contained uh, uh, numerous uh, ribosomes, as it contains the numerous free ribosomes. Why? Because this layer represents or responsible for the regeneration of the uh, above layer or the uh, superficial layer. So it is rich in free ribosomes as it is considered as a stem cell for the epidermis. This layer, the cells of this layer, considered as a stem cell for the epidermis. In addition to the ribosomes, it contains also creatine filaments and melanin granules. Layer number two, or the second layer, is called the stratum spinosum, or the other name is preckel cell layer. As you see here, the cell appear polygonal in shape, 
this layer formed of multiple cells, multiple polygonal uh, cells with central vesicular nucleus. The cell reach in creatine filament and also it is started to form granules called lamellar granules. What is the, lam the lamellar granules? Lamellar granules are lamellated granules, uh, membrane-bound granules, I mean surrounded by a membrane, contain lipid and lipoprotein. This lipid or this lipoprotein librated outside the cells uh, in the intercellular spaces here to form a barrier uh, this barrier is waterproof for the skin. I mean, it prevents the uh, dehydration or the escape of uh, water from the skin. As uh, you see here, the uh, nippering cells are attached to each other by uh, these mosomes junctions. Layer number three, or the third layer, is a stratum granulosum or granular cell layer. Uh, this layer is formed of uh, three to five layers of flattened cells. In this layer, the cell starts to be flattened and contain two types of granules, contain two types of granules. Either creatohyaline granules is not surrounded by, mem by membrane, non-membrane bound basophilic granules. Uh, this uh, keratohyaline granules contain a material or protein that bind the creatine filament together to form bundles, creatine bundles. The other type of granules present in this sense is the lamellar granules, which I mentioned before in the uh, previous layer or, or in the stratum uh, uh, spinosum layer. The layer number four or the fourth layer is a stratum mucidin or the other name is clear cell layer. It is important to know that it is present only in the thick skin. Again, stratum mucidin is only present in the thick skin, so it is a point of difference between uh, thick skin and thin skin. These uh, appear as a translucent acidophilic layer formed of flattened cell. Here, the cell start uh, to lose its nuclei and uh, organelles, and only backed by creatine filaments. This creatine filament embedded in electron dense matrix. The last layer, or the uh, fifth layer of the epidermis, is a stratum corneum layer or horny cell layer. This layer, as you see, the very thick layer. Is the most superficial layer formed about of 10 to 20 layers of squamous keratinized cell. The cells here uh, completely lost its uh, nucleus and organelles and become fully keratinized or fully packed with keratin filaments. Again, I said the epidermis is formed of keratinocyte and the non keratinocyte. The keratinocyte arranged in uh, the uh, in five layers, which I uh, just mentioned, and non creatinocytes are uh, three cells melanocyte, Langerhans cell, and Merican cell. The first cell is uh, melanocyte. Melanocyte present in the stratum basal layer, resting on the basement membrane. By light microscope, it appears with rounded cell body and arise from the cell body cytoplasmic processes. This is the cytoplasmic processes which uh, branch in between the keratinocyte cell branch or present in between the keratinocytes. It has central vesicular rounded nucleus. Uh, its cytoplasm contains tyrosinase enzyme. This enzyme is responsible for the formation of the melanin pigment. So uh, it is positive Doba reaction. Uh, Doba reaction is a reaction uh, that proves the presence of tyrosinase enzyme. By electron microscope, melanocyte reach in mitochondria, rough endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi apparatus, and this organism is important for the tyrosinase uh, uh, senses. In addition to this organism, we have melanosome. What are the melanosomes? Melanosomes are bound melanin granules. Granules surrounded by membrane contain melanin pigment in different stages of development. As we see here, this is the melanocyte resting on here the basement membrane and here the uh, stratum basal uh, cells or keratinocyte of the stratum basal. And we have here the branches, cytoplasmic branches of the uh, melanocyte present uh, in between or branch in between the keratinocyte. Uh, 
uh, we have here by electron microscope, mitochondria, rough endoplasmic, and Golgi. Uh, in addition to uh, membrane bound melan uh, melanin granules, I mean the granules which contain uh, uh, melanin pigment, and it is also called melanosomes. Uh, what are the functions of melanocytes? Melanocyte is responsible for the melanin synthesis. Responsible for the melanin synthesis. First, the melanocytes synthesize tyrosinase by, uh, my, by uh, uh, help of mitochondria and the Golgi and the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Then this tyrosinase enzyme is converted, uh, converted the, ty the tyrosine into DOBA. Then this DOBA polymerized into melanin uh, and uh, stored inside vesicles called melanosomes. So we have tyrosinase enzymes, which is synthesized by rough endoplasmic reticulum and then modified by Golgi apparatus. This enzyme converts tyrosine into DOBA. And then DOBA polymerize or collect it together to form melanin pigment inside vesicles called melanosomes. After that, the neighboring keratinocyte, the nearby keratinocyte, is started to phagocytose the tips of this uh, of the cytoplasmic processes of melanocyte, which contain il mel the melanin, and this is called cytokrine secretion. So that the melanocyte deliver its melanin content to the neighboring keratinocyte by cytokrine secretion. Uh, to uh, protect the neighboring keratinocyte from the ultraviolet ray radiation. And uh, this ultraviolet ray can damage the DNA, producing mutagenic effects, I mean uh, several types of cancers. We have here the blue one is the melanocyte, and here we have the cells keratinocyte of the stratum basal, and here's the stratum basal, and here the stratum uh, spinos. Uh, first, a tyrosinase enzyme is synthesized here in the rough endoplasmic reticulum, then transported to the Golgi apparatus to be modified, and tyrosinase uh, liberated here in a uh, melanosome. Melanosome represents different stages of melanin synthesis. First, the tyrosinase acts on the tyrosine uh, enzyme to be converted into DOBA, then DOBA polymerized to form melanin pigment. After that, this is melanin granules. Uh, after that, the keratinocyte here phagocytose the cytoplasmic processes with its content of melanin granules. And here is the melanin granules uh, arranged uh, above the nucleus. Here arranged above the nucleus, melanin pigment arranged above the nucleus in the keratinocyte to protect the keratinocyte or the nucleus of keratinocyte against the uh, damaging effect of ultraviolet rays, which can cause mutagenic effect. Again, as I said, uh, we have the epidermis formed of keratinocyte or non-keratinocyte. Non-keratinocyte, either melanocyte or Langerhans cell or medical cell. We have here the Langerhans cell. This cell present in the stratum spinosum layer here, this is the Langerhans cell. What is the function of Langerhans cell? It acts as antigen presenting cell. It acts as antigen presenting cell. The third cell of non keratinocyte is the miracle cell, which is located uh, in the stratum basal layer. As you see here, this is the miracle cell. Miracle cell acts as mechanoreceptor. As you see here, this is the myelinated nerve fiber. The myelinated nerve here lose its myelin sheath, which is the blue color, and uh, become in contact with the miracle cell uh, to uh, uh, form miracle receptors, which is responsible for light touch sensation. Again, we have here the layers of the uh, skin. Uh, the superficial layer is the epidermis, and the deep layer is the dermis. And we have here the hypodermis, which is not uh, a part of the skin, which is a subcutaneous fatty tissue. Regarding the epidermis, as I said, it is uh, stratfasquimous keratinized epithelium, formed of two types of cell or two categories of cell, keratinocyte uh, and non-keratinocyte. Keratinocyte arranged in this five layer, stratum basal, 
stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, stratum lucidum, which is only present in the thick uh, skin, and lastly, stratum corneum. And we have underlying the epidermis is the dermis. This is the dermis. And uh, you see two uh, grades of color, this one and this one. The superficial part of the dermis is called the papillary dermis. And the deeper part is the reticular dermis. The papillary dermis is more cellular than to be fibrous, contain more cells than fibers. And the reticular layer, the reverse, contain more uh, fibers, collagen fiber type 1 and uh, elastic fibers, and less cellular. Papillary layer, more vascular, uh, to supply the avascular epidermis. The papillary layer contain more blood vessels and more capillaries to supply the avascular uh, epidermis. Uh, in the papillary, uh, papillary layer, we have uh, receptors, uh, mycinal receptor here. This is mycinal receptor, and the reticular layer contain a uh, bacinian receptor. Uh, to compare between papillary and reticular uh, dermis, this is a very important issue and a very common question. We have here the dermis. This is the comparison between the papillary layer and the reticular layer, as I said. The papillary is the superficial layer, which is forming the dermal papillae. The reticular is the deep layer. Papillary is more cellular and less fibrous. On the reverse here, uh, the reticular is less cellular and more fibrous, contain collagen type 1 and elastic fibers. The papillary, are more, the papillary layer is more uh, or highly vascular as it supplies the uh, uh, vascular epidermis. Regarding the receptors, we have here mycinal corbacin in the papillary layer, which is responsible for the touch sensation. And in the, in the reticular layer, we have bacinian corbacil, which is responsible for the pressure, uh, or act as uh, pressure receptors. Lastly, uh, we have two types of skin, and you have to differentiate well between both of them. And this table is very important also, and is considered as a common question. Uh, the site of uh, thick skin present in the palm of the hand and sole of the foot. Thin skin present all over the body except the two, these two sides. Regarding the epidermis, in the thick skin, it is formed of the five usual layers which we have mentioned. Uh, again, it is a stratum basal, a stratum uh, uh, spinosum, a stratum granulosum, a stratum lucidum, and very thick stratum corneum. Uh, in the thin skin, we have only four layers. No stratum lucidum is present here, and the stratum corneum is a very thin layer. Regarding the dermis, we have here in the thick skin, more sweat gland, more numerous or more abundant sweat gland. Uh, in the thin skin, it is less abundant or less numerous, few in number. Regarding the hair follicle in the spacious gland and the rector pili muscle, here in the thick skin, the three are absent. In the thin skin, the three are present as uh, this considered uh, one unit, the hair follicle and the spacious gland attached to the hair follicle and the erector pili muscle also attached to the hair follicle. So it is considered as one unit. So these three items absent here in the thick skin and present here in the thin skin. This is a, a photograph or a, a photograph is a section for thin and thick skin. We have here the thick skin and we have here the thin skin. Uh, you can notice the very thick stratum corneum here and very thin stratum corneum. We have here numerous sweat glands. This is sweat glands. This is the sweat glands. And we have here the hair follicle. This is the hair follicle. And this is another one, and this is a spacious gland. This is a spacious gland which is absent here. Thank you for your attention.